Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Mr. and Mrs. Mallard Duck fly into our backyard most every day now. For some reason, they have chosen the Swindoll backyard as the place of their temporary abode. And from the looks of things, they might be on their honeymoon. It's a, it's a beautiful sight, and I was sitting out back just uh, this last week with, my, with a book and enjoying it com thoroughly, and our dog was by my side, sort of half asleep, and as, as Sasha sat there and, and snoozed, I was sitting there reading, and uh, I was lost in the beauty of it, and suddenly I looked to my right and had to chuckle because uh, our Sasha who is a big, f white, furry simoid, was trying to look like a pointer. And <laughs> she had focused in on duck. And uh, it sort of gave new meaning to the old song, Two Different Worlds We Live In. Here I am enjoying the delightful beauty and uh, rare experience of ducks within, within 10, 15 feet of me. And, it, and here is my dog thinking other thoughts entirely. And herein, it seemed, rested an, an allegory about marriage that I thought was appropriate. First of all, I thought of the lovely bride and groom as they come to an altar, and the many who sit in, in churches and in audiences around the world, ooing and aahing uh, over this handsome man who promises uh, for richer, for poorer, in sickness or in health, he will give himself to her until death do them part. And, and here is his, his, his lovely bride who stands in uh, exquisite white with the veil. And she, through sickness or health, through times of sorrow and, uh, and prosperity, promises to keep herself faithful to him until death uh, separates them. And, and, and then they don't, they don't live happily ever after. They get married. And as time passes, they, they neglect the things that were of utmost importance to them in their courtship. And they become... Uh, preoccupied with things other than their relationship and they forget the predators. You see, I have this fear that, that one day while I am not there to protect them or to call her off, Sasha will have what she craves, a warm duck with feathers. And I will walk out the door some sad afternoon and find a small pile of bloody bones that she has left. And that is not the way life was meant to be for those ducks. You may not know it, but ducks choose their partner, and it is on record that there are cases where ducks have been studied, and one is either shot out of a sky or, or falls with ill health. The other mate will circle and come down and die alongside, rather than let there be a separation. Marriage was meant to be like that. Not an easy street, not a simple, happy-go-lucky lifestyle, but it was meant to represent, well, shall we say it, a new frontier. A marriage can easily become neglected with the passing of time, and neglect makes it susceptible to harmful influences. But a marriage that's given care and attention thrives. The honeymoon doesn't have to end. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Getting Through the Tough Stuff of Remarriage, was copyrighted in 1990.
and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2013 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide. <laughs>